Thank you, Chief Hoskins. My name is DeHasa Hill, Chairman for Oneida Nation, Wisconsin. Today, the justices heard clear arguments on ICWA's constitutionality. The facts on ICWA's consistency with congressional authority and its broad bipartisan support are overwhelming. I would like further to highlight why child welfare experts consider ICWA to be the gold standard and why, if anything, this principle should be expanded, not overturned. ICWA helps our most vulnerable families who find themselves in state child welfare proceedings. The law makes sure that there are active efforts to help families reunify when safe and possible. It makes sure tribes are a part of the proceedings and can provide services to the family at an early stage, something we know leads to reunification. Those who are most familiar with the law and, ex and with experience on how best to help Native children, tribes, child welfare experts, medical experts, and al almost universally warn against the harm that would come from overturning ICWA. I'm sure many of you have read the dozens of briefs from the experts who have seen ICWA's impact firsthand. Meanwhile, the petitioners, including some from states with serious child, uh, child welfare systems, are calling the decision that would go against the warnings of these experts who dedicated their careers and lives to helping children. Losing ICWA would mean the loss of the gold standard. Many states have recognized the benefit of ICWA and have codified its principles and practices into their own laws. But that is not always the case. Tribes would lose the right to be notified of cases involving children from our communities and tribes would not be a part of the process of ensuring the best outcome. We would lose the active efforts that help families reunify. I also think it is important to reiterate how ICWA has a wide support from across the political spectrum. If you look at the briefs filed in court, you'll see some of the most conservative state attorneys generals writing alongside some of the most progressive. Uni unity by our own ex experience is seeing ICWA's success as helping children and families. This has never been a Republican or Democratic issue, and any attempt to describe this as, as one is an attempt to politicize the best interests of our children. The law is on our side, and it would be stunning if the court to decide it would go against the rule of law in this case. But just as tragic would be the loss of a widely successful and widely supported child welfare law with a record of saving lives and helping children. Next, you'll hear from Chief uh, our Chairman Martin from the Morongo Band of Mission Indians.